And we are back, folks. Uh, we are with Abhimanyu Mishra, the young phenom who is the youngest international master in the world. That's a record already. He's got that in his pocket. Youngest I am ever. That's something that he will be able to keep for the rest of his life. All right. Somebody might break the record. Records are made to be broken, but he can say he did it when. He can tell his grandkids that, hey, I did that when. He's aiming right now to become the, U the youngest GM in history, not US GM, youngest GM in world history. He'll have to do that by September 5th. So we're on a watch, an Abhimanyu watch. Will he become a GM before uh, 12 years and seven months? That is the record he's chasing down right now. But let's just, let me just say this right now. If any of you want to bet me as to whether or not Abhi is going to become a GM, I'm taking all bets. All bets. I'm just going to do that. I'm just, I'm just going to put that out there. I'm taking all bets whether or not Abby becomes a GM. I'm just, go, just going to go with that. I, I think that's, you know, I, can, I think I can safely say I'm going to get the win, the W on that. All right. Uh, he is extraordinary. He's showing us moves and ideas and his capability right now and his tenacity. He's got a great family as well, giving him wonderful support. You can see how well-spoken and articulate he is. At 12 years old, I was too shy to, to I mean, even say my name in public, much less the way Abby is able to speak and articulate ideas and thoughts and the like. So, indeed, he is on his way to the path. 12 years old. That's right. I said 12 years old trying to become the youngest GM in history. He's already over 2,400. He's an international master showing some strength. If you want to support his quest, he does have a GoFundMe page. The family has been putting all their money in training, travel. Uh, it's rough in there to try to make this happen. If you want to be a part of history as well, support him on his GoFundMe page, and you'll be able to say, yeah, 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 that's right. I was part of history as this kid stormed the barricades of the GM title and beyond. He just doesn't want to be a, a GM. What's that? That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nice. That's cool. I'm a GM. Congratulations. He's trying to become the world's best player one of these days. And he's got his eyes set on the super GM and the world champion title. Uh, Magnus knows uh, young threats when he sees them. And I'm sure he's looking at this one going, yeah, they just keep on coming. <laughs> they just keep on coming, don't they? So incredible, incredible. He does not have any norms yet, so his quest will in indeed be difficult. Abby, talk to us before we start playing hand and brain, which will be pressure-filled. Talk to us about pressure. How do you handle pressure? How do you feel about that word when somebody says, man, it must be a lot of pressure, whatever it is, whether it's trying to get the top title or whether or not it's trying uh, in an individual game to deal with GMs who don't want to just give you draws? I mean, during the game, it's, it's a different thing. Like when you vote in the last few seconds and everything, I mean, if you, the first person, the crack is just going to just lose everything. You're, whatever you've been fighting for the last five hours, you're just going to lose everything. So just, I, I just try to remain focused or last whatever time it is, like in the final thing. Do you feel, do you feel those anxieties? The, do you, do you like, I mean, of course. Way? Yeah. It's, it's not like I'm a robot. Yeah, of course. I feel like so much, so many things is going on. So many things can go wrong in this thing, but I just keep on trying not to mess things up. Yeah, when you when you get used to pressure at the age of twelve, folks, uh, that's a whole different ball of wax. That's you, you, and then you're successful at it. You saw how he's beaten other player these players that we're showing right now. Strong players. We just saw him taking down. He had two and a half half against GMs in his last tournament that just finished. Two and a half half against GMs. When you start having that kind of success, then the pressure you feel less pressure. You know, you know, you know, you can get it done. Even if you feel it, you know, you can get it done. That confidence starts to grow. And that's what he has. He is not a robot. He doesn't use engines so much. Yeah, sure. Look at the analysis later, but he's all about reading those books, looking at those quality positions. Sorry, there is something I didn't mention. I mentioned it in the article, but you've got to say it before we get into hand and brain, Abby, you've got to tell, tell the fans this. You spent the summer and I don't know if it's beyond, but I know when I interviewed you, you said you spent the summer doing chess camps. Yeah. Why don't you share a few of the names of the players' camps that you took? Tell us some names, please. Okay, some names would be Kramnik, 
Grandmaster Vladimir Kuzmin. Vladimir Kramnik, former world yeah. champion. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, like, of course, amazing camps. Like, he, former world champion. I mean, come on, how much more can you get? Mm-hmm. Uh, Boris Gelfin. Gelfin, uh, who used to uh, play in the candidate, played in the world championship against Anand, so another superstar. Yeah, and uh, J- Jacob Agard. Well-known trainer, well-known, great author as well. Yeah. Mm. Didn't Elianov. You, didn't you have a one with Anand as well? No. Oh, you didn't do Anand. Yeah. I seem to recall another name. Did you say somebody else? Uh, there's Elianov. Elianov, of course. Pavel yeah. Elianov, super GM. As, well, strong GM at least, yeah. right? Definitely. Of course. So you were taking camps in the summer. How many of them did you take? Uh, many of them. It was like back to back. So back to back camps. Give us a little taste for those who don't know. What were you learning in these camps, and who was your favorite? Or, or yeah. give us just give us some of your favorite moments if you can, or even just one from those camps. You're studying with all these monster trainers, which include Vladimir Kramnik, who took down Gary Kasparov. Yeah, I mean, these camps, they're very helpful, of course. And I mean... Mm. And what were you learning? Like, give us something like, you learned. Yeah, there are many, there were like many subjects. Like, uh, for example, calculation. There were a few camps on calculation, some on positional play, mm. and in like, like a variety of subjects. Not just and, the same thing. And when you were, when you were doing these camps, when you were getting like, Kramnik dropping variations. Were you sitting there going like, whoa, <laughs> it's Kramnik? I mean, yes, but I mean, uh, over, uh, over time I've been, I was able to adapt to it. I mean, it's. That's amazing. That's amazing. Kramnik teaching you chess and you're going, yeah, it's Kramnik, you know, I mean, yeah, he's, he's showing us some stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'd be like, could I have your autograph, sir, please, 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 please. It's Kramnik. <laughs> Kramnik is born. He's showing me secret variations that he's not telling folks right now. You're going to have to pay for it, all right? You're going to have to pay for Kramnik's lessons, camps uh, that the young G is taking. Yeah, he's on his way. All right. Well, that's. I thought that was something that's really extraordinary. And uh, yes, deep stuff beyond the beyond the beyond. Let us now get into some games. Now I am ready. We're going to do hand and brain. We're going to do it right now. Let's get the challenge. Let's get it on. I'm going to just take the first person who I see. And we got our hands full. We got a 2168 right away, Abby. Right out the gate, we got somebody who's pretty strong. Let's go. You tell me, and I'll make the moves. Okay, pawn. Pawn, all right. Uh, I know you're a D4 player, so I'm going to play that. Pawn, no hesitation. I'm just going to follow behind. Pawn. Well, I hope he saw your game because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he better not play that move because you are ready to hit him hard. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Pawn. <laughs> I think I remember a variation here. Uh, pawn. Pawn again. Now, I'm going to go with this move since uh, I've already seen what you did. Yeah. Knight. All right. Can't go wrong with this move. Pawn. Okay. Now I got a question. Because this is not a variation that I play. But uh, I'm going to be aggressive. See, I don't want to be too aggressive or I don't know what I'm doing. All right, Abby, let's go for it. Is that what you wanted or is G3? Yes, yes. Bishop. All right, Bishop sounds like a trade. He's spending a lot of time in the opening. You know, this three plus five actually feels slow. I just played in a bullet championship where I played like garbage. <laughs> I was so slow. It's not even funny. I did get to the semis, but man, it was terrible. And boy, what, playing this kind of chess feels so slow. Knight. 
What do you feel about Bullet, by the way? I mean, it's not really going to help you. I mean, yeah, I feel you. Sure, jet for fun, but yeah, it's not really going to help you. King. Okay. Queen. Uh, all righty, righty. This this feels like we could talk for like an hour with them. <laughs> three plus five, like seriously. Yeah. These now I see I see somebody say Ali Reza played a ton of bullet and look where he is now. Temporary shadow. That's yeah, not what happened. <laughs> I mean, blitz at, at least blitz. There's more time and stuff, so you can actually play. But I mean, bullet is mainly just fly fest. Yeah, Nakamura played a lot of bullet. Also, I would not say Fabi played a lot of bullet. It's it's our move, by the way. Yeah. Uh, it, I wouldn't say Fabi played a lot of bullet and I wouldn't say Magnus played a lot of bullet. So you can talk about, oh, bullet is good for you. Go, you keep dreaming that folks. That's Bishop. not how it works. What did you say? Bishop. Bishop. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with a move that seems to make sense to me. I'm just going to do this. I'm not sure if that's what you wanted to do. I mean, this is also decent, but yeah. I was thinking about some Bishop for E5 plans, but yeah. Gotcha. I just don't want to mess us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm just, uh, I'm playing solid. I get the feeling there is a possibility that I did not look at. I found bullet really helped me to cope with three plus five minute time controls. <laughs> I would think so folks, <laughs> if that's what you're after, absolutely. It's on you, sir. Mm. I feel like I messed up your theory already. Rook. Rook. I'm going to take this rook off of this square because uh, I've been yeah, dreaming. That, that looks about right. For the longest time ever. Ali Reza did not play a lot of bullet. He plays more classical when he's studying or playing for tournaments. That's the real deal, folks. That's what I'm looking at right here. Uh, bullet is something. I think I feel like the modern players they have to uh, they have to play more of this bullet stuff nowadays because that's what's making money for them. But that's not what they want to do. That you know, you think bullet is like the be all and end all. That's not what the players want to do. They they want to play real chess. Yeah, I mean, at least yeah. Yeah, as, I, as I've already said, it's, there's more time. I mean, you yeah. you can think and play, but... All right, it's our turn. Let's keep the time yeah. cognizant. Rook. Rook. All right, I'm going to uh, do something solid, given what you just said. Just going to do something super solid. I know I'm not playing any aggressive plans right now, but. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, Rook F1 was actually what was intended. Alarezis doesn't like bullet. He just plays it because he and he can can both uh, Hikaru and Alareza. Bullet is not real chess, folks. Let's be real. Let's be real. All right, here we go. Looks like our opponent is trying for some stuff. What we got? Fun. Yep. And this is all I know about this opening. <laughs> I'm at my finishing point <laughs> right here. I'd say Saisua is playing very well indeed. Picked a good opening. Uh, forced theory that for me is not great. And uh, I mean, yeah, this is, I mean, it's, it's better for white, but it's still not very clear. It's, no, not like always compensation. Black definitely has compensation in this position, folks. I would say so. And uh, we got our work cut out for us. Indeed, uh, a lot of time spent. I'm surprised by how long he has spent. I mean, this is, this is normal bank of play. Yeah, that's the big deal. It's on you. Hey, night. All right, I'm going to just uh, kill that thing. Ooh, very quickly played. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we got to keep our edge on the clock. Uh, Bishop. Bishop, even you want to play? Yes. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to do this one then. Have thinking more aggressive, but sure. Aggressive? How are you going to get to be aggressive? Five, okay. Wow, that would have been aggressive. Ah. Uh, Night. All right, Abby, you got me trying to move this knight off the square, but I'm scared of where I'm going to have to put it. All right. Not happy. It's a long way to the end of this game. We only have 36 seconds left, so we're going to have to do some yeah, things. Yeah. Oh, that's there. Gone. All right. Pawn. Pawn. All right, I'm just going to go for it. E5? Okay. <laughs> Is something wrong with it? I mean, I didn't consider it, but sure. Wow. I thought we needed to get aggressive. I think it's like H3 or something, but okay. H3? <laughs> Okay, uh, pawn. Rook. Rook, you're a beast. Okay. Fast, okay. time, time. Okay, okay. Rook takes, let's go. Whoa. Uh, uh, God. Bishop take? Ah, uh, Bishop. Bishop you want to play. Okay. Queen. Mm, now we got a moment. Guess I got to do this one. Connect everybody. Hold on a second. You have to make sure we don't flag first. Yeah, no kidding. Rook. I like our chances, unless there was some funny tactic. I don't see it. Yeah, same. We got 14 seconds left. Whoa. Uh, rock, 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 rock. It's on rock, you. Rock, rock, rock. Rock. <laughs> uh, rock. I don't know. No need to panic. You're good. What's wrong with that? Pawn? Pawn. All right. Rook. Looking good. Yes. Now it's working. Uh, pawn. Looking good. Queen. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought queen d5. Man, f7. Oh, damn. You're right. What I like. Rook, 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 rook. You're right. Ah, uh, uh, queen. Whoa. I have three jacks. Ah, uh, queen. Rook. All right, we got this one. That's it. Good game, Saisua. Well played, strong Hello. game indeed. Yes, I could have played Queen D5. That was definitely much stronger, but this got it done as well. That was a great game. I'm going to say that was a great game. That wasn't as easy. That was, that was annoying. <laughs> you know, it's tell you, your, the strength goes down when you're playing a team game like this. I mean, it definitely goes down as we try to guess each other's thoughts. And, you know, and plus I played an opening that I normally do not play, but that's the challenge, right? All right, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to accept the first thing that I see. And this player is a 312. It'll be a different oh. level. I think we might, you know, this will be a li little bit better challenge for us, but let's uh, oh. keep an eye on him. So what did you say? Go on. Pawn. Play okay. anything, it's fine. 
I mean, I'm, gonna play, I'm just going to play what I like, and we'll just go off in that direction and see what happens. Okay. All right. There's something going on. Okay. Mm, night. Okay. No, I'm not sure. I, didn't, I don't know about which of C4. I mean, it's a move for sure, but. It's a move. That's all we got. It's a move. <laughs> I mean, it's there. <laughs> Pawn. Pawn. Will you be restreaming this? I want to see what you guys were saying against my game. Uh, night. I was just, yes, it will be restreamed. Uh, your Seisua will be restreamed. That was a great game you played, by the way. Excellently played. Get put us under a lot of pressure, indeed. So, well played. For sure. Is this person rated 312? Playing good, right? We got players on the yeah. stream. Yeah. Definitely so far, a good game. Uh, we we yeah, expect that. We expect that. We're scared. Okay. G3, though. Mm. G3, that's suspicious. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I see something. Night. You see something. Night. <laughs> he says he sees something. All right. Do I see it? What you see can't be that, because that looks ugly. That looks like the... Oh, what the heck are you thinking? Let's see, what can you possibly? All right, you definitely confused me, kid. You definitely confused me, so I'm gonna just put this here. Okay, so I was considering knight takes e4. Knight takes e4, allowing knight takes? Bishop takes g5. A 96 check? Can you seven? And you're just fearless, huh? There's no attack, there's one knight. I'm gonna take it over, just kick you over. <laughs> No, I'll play G5, and I mean, my whole century is just going to start. I over. totally agree with you. I totally agree. I saw it too, but I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna play around with this next yeah. move. But I see what you're saying. You're totally right. That was much better. No question okay. about okay. it. Yeah. Knight takes E4. Nice tactical shot, Maybe. folks. He was pointing Maybe out. We don't do it now, because, I mean, if we do it now, this. No, no, now it's <laughs> terrible. But he was pointing out this. Oh, I can't even do it. No, I can't yeah. show the analysis yet. But I see what now you're saying. Terrible. I saw it. Huh? But now, now, now we can't do it. No, now we can't do it. Because Bishop takes c7, B takes c3. D4 thing. Yep. Yeah, now my move is really bad now that I look at it. I really, mean, it's really bad. Still, okay position. I mean, okay, what? Wow. Uh, gone? Not sure. You're not sure. Let's go for <laughs> it. Who cares? Okay, I was considering some H6. You <laughs> we're not we're not communicating well at all. I've been dying <laughs> no, to play. No, never mind. No, this works. This works. No. <laughs> I've been no. dying to play this move. Like the diva is perfect. No. no. Can't wait <laughs> to play this move. Wait. Could that actually? Yeah, it's fine. Maybe. Okay, night. You know, the line you were worried about, uh, the line you were worried about, which was takes on F6, I was ready to give that pawn up and cast I know, do you see, like, okay, okay. But now I mean, we don't have to give up the pawn. You do? Yeah. You have to say pawn, right? And we're winning a pawn. Yes, now, now our opponent's, but yeah, wouldn't you just sack on F, take on F6 and no big deal? I mean, you could, but I mean, why? Position is absolutely fine, but yeah, sure. Our turn. Okay, the show. Not bad for a three hundred. Not okay. blundering again. So we do win a pawn in this line. Uh, somebody's saying, "Let the kid be the hand; he'll do his magic." You guys got to realize that means I'm going to have to tell him moves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bishop. Bishop, I uh, guess I'll retreat.
Don't be nervous, didactic ignorance. Okay. Whoa, he didn't uh, take it. He's back. Knight? Knight, um, I think I can handle this position. Okay, I mean, the show. Yeah, now it's just, it's a book. We just have an extra piece. We should be able to handle a business in this one. I can give you, I can give you hand. You don't have control over the board, but I can say my piece and you can tell me the piece move. That's going to slow us down. Okay. You know what I mean? Like if I said pawn and you have, you'd have to say the move and then I'd have to make the move too. Okay, that would be, be, be slower, but yeah. That'd be definitely slower. G4. What? <laughs> Yo. Is, to, is this person trying to mate us? I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> That's a hardcore move right there. Hey, okay, pawn. Pawn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just uh, ignore. B6, okay. Stinking stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah, never mind. It's worse. What did you want to do? Like D4 or something, but yeah. D4, yeah. give him the whole diagonal? I'm giving him I mean, whatever. <laughs> I got you. Okay, Bishop. I don't see how he survives this one. Whoa. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> him, but okay, Bishop. Whoa, oh boy, buddy right. boy. This is gonna be juicy. Oh Bishop, man. Bishop on A2 and this Bishop on D4. Mm, mm, mm. Giving up that square right there. That bishop be gonna park there for the rest of all time. And uh-uh, this is gonna be painful. Whoa! Oh, oh god, oh god. Okay, Bishop. Do you know how much I don't even want that? <laughs> that yeah. No, no. This, this, this is even better, of course. Okay, queen. <laughs> I so don't want that, bro. Game, game over. Just, just over. <laughs> I mean, we're not interested in that rug at all. That's a sweet bishop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, bishop. Take everything. Man, queen takes look so good, too, just to have fun. Oh, oh okay. Queen takes. <laughs> 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 Just for a little bit of fun, you know, you don't get those positions every day. Of course. Okay, Bishop. Oh. Queen. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Stop it. We, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right in this game. Yeah. I mean, the first part of the game wasn't actually that bad. But yeah, now it's just, now it's like massive. Yeah, yeah the moves got a little bit. Bishop. Weird. You want me to move the bishop, user? You got yeah. greedy. You actually want food? I mean, just take everything. Why not? Rook. You, you are greedy. I, I don't want to take any. I don't want to take any filthy pawns. <laughs> I would have so brought this rook into the game and ignored that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Rook. Let's back up momentarily. Somebody here said we miss mate in one. Or what, what? What mate in one are you talking about? No, mate in one. Where's mate in one? I I don't see any mate in one anywhere. Not here. Not here. Not e there was no mate in one. There's no mate in one. There's no mate in one, folks. Uh, I mean, mate in two or whatever, but okay. There's no mate in one. Yeah. There's no mate. I, I was thinking, yeah, we just play rook here would be our best move, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got greedy and took the rook in the corner. Uh, I would say that last game was a good game. Uh, very much in the opening, it was sharp. Let's go back a second, guys, so we can just be instructive. I made, Abby, you were pointing out in this position that... Uh, G3 is misplaced. Oh, yeah, 90 C4. That, no, it was after G3. G3, G3. G3. Okay, G3, I mean, in general, I mean, it's... Yeah. G3, if the bishop is not G2, it. it's different. Yeah, the bishop is not over there, uh, McAniff Chess, so the bishop... It's not going to G2. There's no real reason for you to play a move like G3, losing time. Now, Abby wanted to play knight takes on E4 in this position. I didn't want to calculate any of the variations. You were seeing bishop takes E7, knight C3, bishop takes, knight takes on D1, and you weren't worried about anywhere this bishop could go. Yeah, I could just take B2. Because after this, you can just take on B2. I mean, this bishop B3, but I mean, okay, you found my two parts. This knight is a little on Actually, the top no, here, no, C4, C4, C4. C4. And after, C4, 95. 
and and now you're getting out. You know, I don't <laughs> but only play, only play positions like I mean we're still in the middle of a war here. Uh, aren't we? Actually, yeah, uh, this doesn't work, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not okay. feeling this kind there's of crazy. Some, there, maybe instead of this kind this there's things are some improvement, but yeah. Four and those bishops are crying. But still, we used to get like three points. <laughs> Ah, what do you mean? I, I did okay, not like. No, it's I mean, 94. It's 94. C4 is a mistake. It's just 94 and 863, right? Sorry, say it again. Instead of C4 in the variation, so like. Okay, hold on. Takes, 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 takes. takes. Should we be right takes takes here. here. And now knight D4. Knight D4, and you can't play takes here because of takes, takes, and takes picking off the bishop. That makes sense. But knight d4, yeah. you're still you're still playing without this knight. I mean, king d2. Mm, yeah, actually. Yeah. But uh, your bishop is also trapped on b6. That's also. Yeah. Really, I can play a5 and not even think about it. Yeah, but I can go. If I go d6, are you going a5? But yeah, okay. Yeah, it's funny. I, I I didn't trust this line. I got to tell you, sure. I didn't trust this line at all. So I didn't play the move you wanted to play. Uh, but my move, I think, is a mistake because e5. e5, but uh, even this knight g8, I'm not, black's not worse. Yeah, I guess I was a little bit worried about a potential. You're going d6. You know, landing here. Oh, sorry, knight takes. Knight take, knight e4, but okay, even if I go castle. Somewhere yeah. I can go f6. And then challenge this pawn, and it's not easy. I feel you. Yeah, and if they I mean, all the pieces are in the back rank. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And F three is weak as well. So there's still, yeah, I'm not, I'm not thrilled, but that's that's the line. That would have been interesting. That was some good stuff. All right, folks, uh, we can't keep the young phenom here all night, so we're going to take one more game. Uh, who's going to challenge us? Let's make it happen one more time, and then we're going to let the youngster go. I know, you know, you guys like to stay up, but uh, look, he's twelve. <laughs> He's 12. We got we to gotta get him down. So let's get somebody else. We're going to accept uh, this person came in ahead of the game. So 891, uh, we, we don't want to have him. I don't want to be fair and, you know, jump over people. But so this is the number I saw. So we're going to go with this. All right, okay. Abby, what are we doing? Pawn. Pawn. Ew. We should do something fun. Okay. I'm going to do something fun. Forget that. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do something fun. Bishop. Yeah. Okay, pawn. Let's play the modern knight. The modern is also just positional. I mean, how do I mix this up? Uh, king. Okay, I see that we had to mix it up. Knight. Knight. Okay. I don't care if it's good or not. <laughs> you like this move. <laughs> you like this move a lot. <laughs> You're like, bang, let's open it up. Okay, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, how bad can it be? It's, it ain't bad at all. <laughs> it cannot be yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean, that that wasn't the most precise reputation, but okay, night. Night even. I mean. Night. If I do this and this, I get some action. All right. Let's uh let's get busy. I could have played knight d7 very passive. Yeah, yeah, but knight c6, why not? Just bring it. Let's Get sharp. <laughs> this is not a three plus five game anymore. Bishop. I cannot play a boring game. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not in my system. If I put that there, that's gonna happen, and we're gonna take that and it's gonna be boring. So I'm gonna do this. Yes. So now how do we get E5 or C5 in? This I know. No kidding. no kidding. You got to figure that out from some kind of way. But we got the two bishops in pressure, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, if, if it was the, if you had the light square bishop, things would be different. But now it's dark square. Okay. Yeah, now that, that, that's our way that we get C5. Knight. Knight E5 wasn't good at all. We have, we have less space, so why is he training off pieces? Yep. Good for us, and we're going to get a break that we want. Whoa. What? Queen? I mean, this has to be better for us. Bishop. Overextended pawn. Indeed. 
Got a weakness, you know, take advantage. The kid's positional, folks. This 891 is playing chess, by the way. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not that clear, but sure. Uh, should I give up the bishop or not? This is a question. Okay, I'll do it, bishop. Rook. And that this 891 isn't even spending any time. This is no weird. time, right? Just whipping out the moves. <laughs> okay, Rook. Rook. Uh, let's gain a tempo. Yes. Tempo. The thing is at this point, okay, this is weird. I thought they would play fast at this point and they would spend that time at other points. Yeah, they, you never know what's going to happen, but uh, right okay, now. Okay, fine. Let's just slow things down. <laughs> Lock I mean, that I up. was afraid of some E6 somewhere. Why not? I know. Bring I was thinking the same thing. So Rook, Rook, this move. Rook, uh, Rook. Now, this bishop also has a wave. Yeah. Now we got play. Rook. I mean, if you want, you can defend this position, but it's not any fun. No, this is going to be torture. Of course, Rook. Okay, if I play <laughs> This is a tough decision for you. I mean, why? This is so, this is so jacked up. All right, I'm gonna chill. Rook d5? I thought rook d2. Rook d2, rook e4? Rook d2, rook d4, I mean, are you gonna, I mean, I doubt it's me, but yeah. But what do I have to do? I gotta play like h? No, for sure, okay. fade, rook d8, actually, no, yeah. It, it's, like some, it's something, it's, yeah, it's something, it's not that yeah, great. Exactly. Mm. Okay, bishop. Bishop? Wow. I'm this bishop isn't doing anything. I hear you. I hear you. Let's just change it to different diagonal. Hopefully it'll do something. <laughs> yeah, it, this wasn't the sharpest variation, was it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, okay, it's, be it's better it's just constant. Bishop. Did you say bishop? Yeah. Okay. It's, our bishop is getting restricted by these B4, A3 pawns. Yeah, they're playing very solid chess. This 891. Yeah. These these 891s aren't what they used to be, boy. They got ahead of us on the clock. They're playing solid moves. I mean... I'm surprised what? this person hasn't lunged anything yet. Okay, oh. finally. Okay, fun. Finally. After finally. years of research, we finally get a mistake. <laughs> Your bishop maneuver was genius. <laughs> Putting the bishop on e7 was genius. Look at that. It all worked out in the end. Game over. Yeah, finally. Woo! Man, these people are tough. They are tough. I mean, okay, bishop. Me I mean, even if that didn't happen, I mean, eventually I would go for this pawn and bring the king around. It's over. Yeah, we've been slow. And this 891 is pre moving now? Okay, sure. Bishop. <laughs> Okay, I can play this move. You can play a four. And sure. play this move. You can play the rook. Just make sure you don't fall into rook g four. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. I'm just chill. Yeah. I saw bishop c one. I was thinking about, but you know what? I, I mean, said okay. No. You have a piece. Why? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. We just need a couple of consolidating moves, and this should be history. Huh. <sighs> We don't need to consolidate. I mean, just go. <laughs> pick up all the fonts. You only need to consolidate when your opponent is active. Rook. Okay, you're just going to be greedy. Is that it? Yes. You can't do anything <laughs> on Rook. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be active. <laughs> rook, okay. Oh, my goodness. He traded Rooks? Fixing. 
No, the most technical win. Hold on. The most boring win. I was thinking B5. Fix all the fonts. Bishop goes I'm, around, take everything. I'm, I'm taking everything anyway. Watch. Okay. Oh, gets better. What? Okay, okay. This is dream. <laughs> <laughs> it gets even better. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, okay, pawn. Just fix everything. It just just everybody's on the board. Okay, ah, no, he prevented H5. Otherwise, you get H5 in also. True. Okay, uh, let's just do simple King G, King. Yeah, here we go. Look at his bishop <laughs> just salivating. Like someday, someday, all of them. King again, that freezes the king. And now it's money time. You know what? I think oh, I was about to say we might be winning even without the uh, the bishop. But, but I think there's king h4, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, bishop. Here they come. Well played. Yeah, but I do feel like there's a lot of time on the clock. We this 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 hand and brain is too slow. <laughs> okay. Even though my, even though my, uh, Bishop. Even though, wait a second, just notice something. No, I mean, Bishop won't get trapped. Even though, <laughs> you even know, how... times, I'll, I'll go Bishop C1. Yeah, no, I got you. Your move. Okay, let's just do the simple first. King. Bishop. Jeez, you're greedy. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just win the game. <laughs> you <King>. said now. <laughs> Did you say something? King. Okay. Bishop. You are totally greedy. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't take my bishop. Okay, now pawn. Yes, no counterplay. <laughs> this gets evil, y'all. It gets totally evil. Okay, now that's even better. More pawns fixed on dark squares. Okay, pawn. <laughs> let's just let's just finish this now. About time. Bishop. Even now you don't no want to push the pawn? No one takes my bishop. King. You don't, you don't, you don't get to try to block it. <laughs> just queen the damn pawn. He doesn't, he doesn't even want to queen the pawn. He's like, you can't have my bishop either. <laughs> Pawn. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> that is purely evil right there. You have nothing. You get nothing. Oh, man. That is wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. Absolutely. It's our turn. Oh, okay. Uh, pawn. And now another pawn. <laughs> I'm going to move I'll this. I'll do whatever pawn. you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this. Okay. Just okay. to annoy you. Pawn. <laughs> no, I, gotta, I don't care. Just fine. No, I got to promote. Okay, what do I want? Hmm. Um, I, mean, I don't know. I'm going to get a bishop just to annoy you. Okay. Now let's do this. We still have another four pawns. Bishop. Just make sure don't steal me, but okay, king. <laughs> bishop okay here's your challenge you must mate with the bishops okay just don't take any funds you're not allowed to check you're not allowed to deliver checkmate uh, without using the bishops that's your challenge okay so I'm not going to take it so it must, can I take the pawns or not uh, I don't know I, I'm just no okay. huh oh, okay king you must mate with the bishops. Without taking any pawns, sure. Without taking any pawns. Just more stale at risks, but oh, okay, what? Ah, bishop. <laughs> just make sure, just no stalemate, please. Okay. Oh, gosh. He's getting into a cage. Okay. Here we go. I, I smell me. Bishop. Bishop. Mm. Actually, wait. King. Okay. No, what you already said bishop. I got to use the bishop. Okay. 
If I go here, you go here. I go there. You got to go back. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. I'll use the bishop. Bishop. Actually, his pawns are helping us. Ah, the strong square, but sure. King. I wanted this bishop on e2 so I can have this bishop c4 main in the end. Yeah, I see you. Uh, okay. King. King. Okay. Now, bishop. Bishop. And bishop. Nasty, nasty, nasty. The young phenom is serious. Look at that, look at that. Absolutely. By the way, I just want to go back in this game to this moment you were so greedy for rook d2. Where was it? Because uh, I, you, you like to take chances because you're greedy, I can tell. Right back here, back here, back here, back here, back here. Back here, you wanted to go like this, this, that I mean, actually, actually the more you yeah this is actually actually when you look at it more i mean it's like it's counterplay i mean i thought it wouldn't be that much saying? why should we give him this position he's gonna get a he's gonna get a check and a rook back to these wait, wait bishop it bishop it you don't get anything bishop f8 yeah are you mad king g7 yeah bishop c5 Wow, you are a bold <laughs> That's all. <laughs> that is slick. I'm going to say that was slick the way you got out of that one. That was kind of nice, actually. <laughs> that forces that forces me to play. I can't even play on the defensive with with with. Uh, there's you have no... to go with Bishop H4. I mean, yeah, but okay. Bishop H4 is... This is not why you sacrificed. No, this is not, this is not why you played this. Hold on, we're back here. That was slick. I like the way you did that. So. So bishop, so bishop g5 is not going to do anything. Bishop h6 is losing. No, the only move would be bishop here. I love what you did here with bishop c5. That is slick. The point being that check, and there's no way to make any progress. Why yeah, wants and the good thing is I'm attacking f2, and, and there's no rook d4 rook h4 me. Exactly. There's none of that. That's nice, Abby. You know what? You you lucked out finding that tactic. The young G is tactical, y'all. But you try to get greedy and take on B2. That was serious. I like that. I like that that, that ended up working out, although... If it works, it works. I, yeah, I, it, 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 it did work. Although, I still am wondering if my king shows up, if you're going to be happy with that as well. Because hmm? you have bishop E3. I see. I was thinking that I could still try to hustle you with a line like this. But my rook comes in with check, right? Yeah, your rook can take, and I can't play this move because you have check chasing. Oh, hold on. oh yeah, and I, can't, and I can't play king h4 either. I can't play this one because, check. again, your rook is coming in with timing. Now, now, the thing is, if you go back to third rank, if you go to g4 and I go rook g2, I cover g5. And if you go back to third rank, I go like rook h1, rook g1. You mean like this? Yeah, I mean, okay. Everybody's Three coming. pawns now, no mate threats. You know, but, but but the thing is, you still have to solve the problem. Like, so for example, I played F4, although I didn't want everything to get taken. But if I play F4 here... But still, like, ah, Bishop G5, Rook H8. What do you mean? You're trying to meet me still, but... I'm still working on it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, but still, it doesn't work. Bishop. Bishop 2. Here. Yeah, Bishop 2. But look what we're doing. We're trying to deal with make threats. What I did was safe. What I did was called, it was called uh, the safe, calm way to go. Don't give them any chances. Except you there's one thing. You're doing that, you go on that kind of thing. If the, I mean, there are some chances for why I can build a fortress. I mean, here, okay. Yeah. yeah looks, show me the main. I don't see it. No, no, there, there, there doesn't look like, oh, wait a minute. What if this line is funny? Check king here. Rook here, you play. Okay, rook g3, king g4. And then go in here. <laughs> now, now, now I'm hitting you. <laughs> now you're hitting on the other side. Oh, man, this would have been fun. This would have been great. Okay, cool game indeed. Cool games, y'all. All right, listen. Abby is, was supposed to only stay for two hours. He stayed for two and a half hours. Give him some love, everybody. Give him some love indeed. Uh, the young phenom showed up. It's Abby Manu Mishra. Like I said, you get a chance, make sure you go to their GoFundMe page 
and fund what you see is talent right here. Talent, speed, uh, the, the alacrity of mind, the, the, co the competitive nature, even the greed. He's got the greed of a champion. I give you nothing. I give you nothing at all. Abi is just fantastic. We're going to want to watch this journey of this young man. And Abi, I got to tell you, thank you so much for being on thank the show. You. We did thank do that art article I did on you for Chess Life, the cover of Chess Life magazine. And uh, I, I'm one of my proudest articles I've ever written. I'm going to tell you right now. Thank That's you, you. absolutely one of my proudest articles I've ever written. Uh, and, you know, one of the things before I let you go, one of the things that I wrote in that article is that your name, Abimanyu, is quite a, a, a regal name, if you will, a warrior's name. It's a story that's told, uh, a, a story back that, that spanned centuries, right? Even not a couple of millennia. Yeah. Uh, that talks about this warrior who fought to the bitter end who, even though he was one of those great fighters and everybody decided that they wanted to destroy him because he was too good. He was like, like Bruce Lee. One of those like, look, he's got to die. We don't care about anybody else on the battlefield. This guy's got to die. And so all the armies and everybody said, we've got to take down this Abi Manu character. And he fought bravely. Everybody, his charioteer, his horseman, everybody was dying around him and he fought to the bitter end. So the name Abibanyu is a warrior's name. It's about fighting. It's about tenacity. It's about bravery. Uh, it's about going into the dark forest and fighting against all the dragons, knowing that you may not come out. And Abibanyu, you are staying true to that name as a fighter. We appreciate you. We're looking forward to seeing you on your quest. Good luck in Hungary, we know the family is sacrificing a lot in order for you to be successful, Abby. We really appreciate you. you being on the show. Thank you. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button and please follow me on twitch.tv slash GMAshley.